And so when that happened, did you feel bone move down? Did you feel contractions happen straight after? I was having pre-labor that day. I'd actually been, um, I was sort of been, I went in, I think I went into work very briefly. Then I'd gotten my nails done. And that whole time I was like, okay, I've, I'm having these light tightenings, but I think I'd been so used to it from mm -hmm. the days. I, I was sort of like, okay, I'm gonna start to do things now because I feel I just need to, do I was sort of felt like this waiting game. I was like, this yeah. is, I need to do something. Yeah. Then I had gotten home. I did like had some lunch and I sat down and I had like quite a strong tightening. It's it wasn't, it's not a contraction, but like I could see my stomach going into this square. And then I felt like everything was wrapping together. And it's like that stronger tightening just popped. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the the, yeah, it just popped. And then I, then my waters broke and it, and I had read a lot of things online being like, oh, you know, it can be a trickle or mm -hmm. you may not really realize, but this was, you couldn't miss it. It was yeah. a gush. A gush, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a gush. And I think that's when you guys called me and I'm like, ah, oh my God, <laughs> quick, 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 I rush, so rush, excited. rush. I was like, mom needs to come from Barrel, called mom, called Ned, only, Ned was at a only, meeting, called you. She'd only just gotten to Barrel, you'd sent her. Poor <laughs> mom had just gotten right. home and then had to turn straight back. We knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> we knew it We did laugh yeah. about that the night before, know, like knowing your mom's luck, the second she sits oh. down for a, Cup, cup of tea, tea. and barrel, she'll be. And we were scheduled to do yoga anyway, yeah, but I, yeah. yeah. Were, I think you were about to come over in 10 minutes. Anyway, but I was like, I'm making sure, double check, I've got everything ready for the birth. And it was rightly so, because you'd had a good pre labor. You were already like one centimeter or something yeah, dilated. It was one centimeter at my last it. OB appointment. Yeah. And so with waters gone, things can move a lot quicker, which is kind of what happened, right? So that's right, I met you, you guys packed up, took about half an hour or so and then drove over to the Marta. So that's like a 30 minute drive then? Because 10 days early, we hadn't done yeah. the car pack yet. So that, no. that was we had right. everything ready, ready but, but not in physically the in the car. Yeah, 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 took yeah, longer yeah. than we thought. Yeah. Which was yeah. fine. There wasn't had a time. panic, yeah. there wasn't a rush. I was just pumped. Just traffic. I just felt Thursday so excited night, at that point. Thursday night shopping wasn't our friend. <laughs> yes, in the end. Yeah. No, no bridge. <laughs> and school's back, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so you guys got over there, I saw you, and I could see that contractions were genuine. It was not Braxton Hicks. We were now in a rhythm, and you were just comfortable like standing up and rocking your hips and chatting. Chat, chat, chatting. Yeah, we could that? still talk at this point. Yeah. I was feeling really excited. What did they say to you when we first walked into the hospital? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lucy, the um, midwife who was there for our birth, was said that she's like, I've never had such a chipper phone call. <laughs> <laughs> when I called her and said, my waters are broken. Should I come into the hospital? This is so exciting. She was like, are you okay? Um, but yeah, we went in and yeah. um, got everything checked, um, which is what my OB had wanted us to do if my waters broke. And yeah, we were chatting like I felt pretty good at this point yep. I was like this is great everything's you fine. just needed to stand up and move your yeah. legs from what I remember yes wasn't comfortable to sit, sit down, down in the chair and do the heart rate monitor mm. and it was definitely amniotic fluid so we just did that for like 30 minutes one. yeah the yeah. Bluetooth one so you could yeah. move around exactly and yeah you were cool yeah chat 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 all good Early days. Early days. <laughs> but I could see they were starting to get stronger and they were still building, which is an interesting thing. Even in an unfamiliar environment, under four centimetres, that can often interrupt labour. Mm. But yours was continually progressing. It was yeah. building. So I knew we were going to have a trip across and back, but not so soon, actually. So anyway, we came back, settled into the house. What happened then? How was the car ride then, coming back? I don't remember being... Yeah. Funnily enough, the car ride back, I don't remember very much. Yeah. Um, I think I was okay. I remember calling mum and saying, I don't need you to come over yet. I'm feeling um, fine. Um, I'll like let you know when I need you, which was actually 10 minutes after I got home. In yeah, the that's, end. Right. that's right. She was um, just, just getting into Sydney from Barrow. Yeah, so I think the car ride, I was feeling pretty good yeah. and I felt the contractions were pretty manageable at that yeah. point. Um, and I was excited that we could come home because I wasn't sure if we were going yeah. to be, have to stay at the hospital, which yeah. I didn't want to do. I was wanting to come to, and labor at home and do a lot of the things that we had spoken about. Yeah. Um, and we didn't know the, the timing on that. And I thought, I, had, I thought we had a really long 
way to go. Way time ahead of us. And I think even at the hospital, they said come back at 9 a.m. tomorrow. It was maybe 3.30 p.m. So yeah. Yeah. I think we thought we were in for quite <laughs> a, a, a long night. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Although we did say we'll probably see you later tonight. Yeah. We're going to see. <laughs> we, we will. With your experience, you, yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were unsure. It was yeah. fun. Like anything can happen. Yeah. Anything can happen. Mm. So then we came home. Where were you comfortable? What did you want to do? Things started amping up pretty much as soon as we got home. I think yeah, I went straight to the shower and I was, did I go straight to the shower? Were you just like swaying and leaning? Leading around. That's yeah, right, we did, the... we did Fitball, we did just shower time, just sort of standing yes. there, leaning. We were worried about his head and if it was in the right position because yes. he'd been lying on the right. Yeah. And so I tried to get you kneeling oh, yeah. off the sofa, which wasn't I very successful. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> but however, he came, he kept coming. Yeah. So maybe he was on the left, yeah. something like that. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like I remember just moving around the house. I was sort of, yeah. there were different stations Little on the couch, the wall, leaning against the wall. I wanted to like, going. Doing those yes. The... Mm -hmm. Ned was doing the acupressure. That's right. Yeah. And then you went to the shower. You did have a nice yeah. little shower and that felt good. Yeah. I think it was starting to amp up and you wanted Ned in there to lean on too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That kind of, I was already starting to feel that kind of, how do I get comfortable? Yes. yes. Um, I don't quite know where yeah. to go to f kind of feel comfortable. And so we were trying a lot of different Heat things. pack on the lower back. We yeah. had a lot of that. That seemed yeah. to be something that was sort of... That was like a first port of call yeah. actually in the hospital, wasn't it? The heat pack heat tied pack. on with the rebozo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great actually, because I was feeling a lot of pressure in my back the whole labor for sure. Yeah. So that heat pack was amazing. Yeah. Especially with the rebozo, like just having it tied on and no one had to hold it there and I yeah. could still move around. Yeah. That was great. It was good. Yeah. So then I think you found your happy spot was like left lateral, lying, lying on your down. left side on the sofa, wasn't it? Semi reclining. Yeah. And I had thought I want to be moving around. I want to let gravity do its thing and help the baby down and be on the fit ball and all of that. That was really my kind of thought process going into the labor and I just needed to lie down on my side. It was like the only place I could get. Yeah, I thought you'd be that way. Well, for someone that loves music and loves dancing and does spin class, I thought her way of dealing with this will be movement, movement music, yeah. you know, just sort of, and in the end, it was almost like the recovery position, yeah. just sort of in the... <laughs> yeah. Lying in the fetal position, yeah. seriously. But we had our music on, yeah. Bossy was with me. It was yeah. really cute, Bossy's our dog. Yeah, she was like part of it at this point and it was still felt very calm at home. And fun, right? Yeah. You were still able to chat. We'd have a few laughs in between. We tried the TENS machine, which was too strong for yeah, you. You didn't I like it. I was loving that. Didn't like it. Yeah, you, you and I it. thought I would yeah. like it when we kind of tried it before. Yeah. But it was almost like there was too much stimulation. Yeah. I just wanted to focus on the contraction and not that. And breathing. I think breathing, breathing. was something that you kept going well throughout your whole yeah. birth. Was a challenge, but also something that you found yeah. getting, yeah. focusing on breathing was something yeah. that I think really helped you absolutely yeah so the contractions i haven't looked back on the cool app whatever it's called oh, when freya. We remember, freya the when timing we remember app, when we remembered <laughs> to press that button but they were kind of differing in their intensity they were mostly regular but then there were some freaky spaces as well so i was like hmm i couldn't quite tell if you were under four or over four mm -hmm. But then they were very intense. Yeah. I could see the intensity really building. They well. definitely felt, I felt they were getting so mm. intense when we were here at home. It yeah. sort of had really moved quickly. Like from my point of view, I thought this is really amping up faster than I had thought. Yes. Yeah. But coming coming back to the birth team, you definitely your mum had been assigned yeah. app manager. Yeah, mum so. was on the app. We were trying to time everything. <laughs> but at that point I was thinking, this feels like it's further along than yeah. being at home and I was starting to get a little bit unsure about where we were at. Yeah, so that's right. I think it was 90 minutes on average. Was it yeah. just 90 minutes? I think we were at home for nine. It wasn't very long. Sort of four by Mary, I think it was like 4.30 till six. Yeah. And then we started to get back in the car yeah. Sort of, you know, the time we. I, I think I, I was lying go. here. I was like, yeah. we have to go, because yeah. the thought of actually being in the car was scaring yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. I was get I, the contractions were really intense, and I couldn't sit up. And I'm thinking, yes. how am I going to go? 
half an hour to the hospital in the car. Yeah. That was <laughs> That's where you came in. Yeah. <laughs> do do. <laughs> Ned, the bed maker. So we basically ran the sort of a uh, business class flatbed <laughs> set up, which was, what was it? It was the uh, two yoga mats. Yeah four towels car seat all even the way down. even in the sort of little thing like that we put a i'm not sure yeah. rounded towel there to sort oh, of flatten out babe? the yeah. Oh, yeah gosh i didn't yeah. fully appreciate there was the no because i was you know <laughs> there was no in-flight <laughs> movie there was no champagne there was no <laughs> was the playlist yeah. going the play yeah. was the playlist yeah. on in the car yeah, i don't yeah. recall yeah, yeah. Going. we love that playlist yeah yeah and there were some very interested bystanders in sort oh, of cars yes. next to us. <laughs> it was pretty vocal at this point. Yeah, you were yeah. totally beautiful and silent in between and then starting to really make sound yeah. to manage sensation. And you were just calming Deb with your hand while you were driving yeah. you and were just so breaking fun. everything down, <laughs> just telling her where we were going and how much longer. Almost and there. yeah, just once yes. this bottleneck's through, we're gonna be, you know, closer and closer. In a monologue, why doesn't Sydney have, cur have sort of shoulders that I can drive down? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's really important again to come back to the team because we're in the car park and you said, no, Nadine's got to come in the car. So I couldn't bring my car with no. all my stuff. And so we couldn't fit it in your car as so well we as to, your stuff. That's right. We had to take all these, uh, well, a yeah. couple of bags and a box out of. Yeah, was mum was left car. with all the yeah. birth kit pretty much right. to meet us at the hospital. Yeah. And because you weren't going to come in the car. And then all of a sudden I had this like overwhelming oh, fear that I, things were moving really quickly. Oh, no. Like what happens if yeah. this, ugh, I was like freaking out. And then I thought, okay, no, I need you to come in the car. Cause Ned obviously needs to focus on driving. But once yeah. again, if we'd had one less person in our team, yeah. then you know, know, the wheels would have fallen. Oh, well, I, I don't know what we, well, yeah. Yeah, you would have, have you would have got there without a whole lot of stuff you needed yeah. or whatever the case was. That be, the so. stuff for her to be yeah. comfortable and stuff like yeah. that. So yeah, so getting there was exciting. That was an we intense did it. trip. It was intense. Was, it was a lot of traffic and I just remember thinking, when will this end? This car ride will never end. I remember just above Circular Quay there was someone in a ute and he had his young son or daughter in the oh back no, seat. Looking <laughs> they were sort of looking across. Oh my God. I think I gave a little wave. Yeah, there was so much traffic and I actually remember seeing people looking in because it was pretty intense. It was. Oh it my was. gosh. I was like holding your hand and holding the so, um, the yeah, hand yeah. rail and like yeah. basically breaking your hand. No, <laughs> you no. must have been covered in bruises. No, 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 no. It was good, it's all good. Yeah. So then we got there and, and luckily your mum arrived pretty soon after with the big doula basket and everything yeah. like that. Got up into the room, met the midwife who seemed great so as well, who we'd met think, before. Yeah. And yeah, tell the story from there. So I think from- A little Bo. Oh, Bo's waking, waking up. up. So the show is That's right. announcing his arrival. Yeah, we, get little we can get him. Should we go get yeah. him? Yeah. Do you want me to get him? Yeah, okay. He wants to be here for this part of the story. Yeah. This is where he really feels like his presence was totally, was coming totally. close. Oh, little man. Oh, so cute. Dude. Little man. Oh, oh Houdini got his hands yeah. out. Little, That's yeah. what's happened. <laughs> Hi, boy. Hi. You got your hands out. That's what's happened. Yeah, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. that's what happened. That's what oh happened. Hi. Doesn't it make you want to have yeah. like five more? I know. <laughs> Everyone's asking us. I'm like, yeah. oh, we want a hundred. And then Hello. nothing else happened between then and that. Yeah. <laughs> that, ta -da, here we are. Yeah, we just, we just wanted to be a part of the little Christian. Yeah. So I think I had thought at this point that I was close to having the baby like part of me was scared i was going to have the baby in the car yeah. um it was so like i felt the sensation right? so much pressure in my mm. back i couldn't even stand up properly yeah um because of the pressure i felt i really could not be i could not get comfortable yeah. um hello um and so i had thought i might i would must be I think I said seven centimeters or one of us yeah. had said that. Yeah. And then when we got to the hospital um, and we got Little examined, things. I was three centimeters and but I was very, so I very, um, thin, thin. So very thin. But so for me hearing that three, I was, uh, I was like, deflated. wow, like this is really intense. 
um, I thought I would be far, far further along than this. And I was pretty disheartened, which you had actually warned me about, yeah. but I guess in the, you know, you, you still, yeah, you had warned me that the exams can um, not necessarily correlate to where you're at yeah. in the yeah. um, labor process and it's yeah. not it doesn't have to be as linear as it yeah, as yeah. it seems yeah. um, but I but think that was, like pretty, that was pretty that was pretty disheartening yeah. three centimeters which is not even established labor and I'm thinking I am definitely in labor yes. <laughs> and have been <laughs> so yeah that was hello baby so that was like 6:30 it's almost seven o'clock I think yeah. yeah wow almost seven o'clock yeah. And then we tried a few different positions to get comfortable and then we... That was hard. It, it wasn't I was, easy. I was not... I was not comfortable Again, on your anywhere. Side, it seemed, well, the side seemed to be the best. The best thing. option. But then we tried the, um, yeah, tried the bath. The bath was your happy The place. bath. So I think maybe I, we were trying to get comfortable for about half an hour and then... Um, they examined me again and in that half an hour we'd gone from three to five centimeters and they were like okay you can get in the bath and we we're all That's like right. amazing so that, that felt better that was sort of okay yes like, i was like this along. is good um but there's some progress and that yeah. seems quite quick so okay and then as basically i feel as though as soon as i got in the bath like it, everything mm. was better like it was very intense and it was really amping up but ned was so amazing he got because I was in the bath, but I couldn't sort of sit up or hold myself up. Hi, baby. Um, Ned actually got underneath me yeah. um, so that then I wasn't sort of submerged in the water. And that was just the best. I think I felt so safe there. Do you want us to pause so that we can... Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Time. I think it is. <laughs> All right, so... We're continuing. We've had a feed and a change nappy break, have we? Yep. And everything like that. And now we've got little Bo here with Rad Dad. Rad Dad. Yeah. Um, and I think let's carry on with the birth because we we're talking about you found your happy place in the bath, lying back. So Ned was really like lying back, holding you up. Then you could sort of do your left lateral. And it is so much in that labor. Weightlessness, I yeah. think. Not, not oh, feeling pressure amazing. down one side. I think the pressure in my back and what, that feeling of standing and sitting was so uncomfortable. Yeah. The bath just kind of created this, yeah, a weightless yeah. feeling. It was so good. And that's where it's just so important to have options yes. available. Like you used a lot of your active birthing in the beginning and you actually used them in pregnancy to get yeah. comfortable and help the baby descend and go through things. But then you have to have options and so yeah you guys were super cute just lying back in there and then myself and Kerry were either side and you were in your happy place but you were also freaking out a little bit it as well because they were intense they were really big intense. big contractions so what was going on like inside you oh my inner monologue at the point of the bath was just wild nothing like nothing i could have ever imagined it was the i cannot do this it can't keep going how is this actually happening yeah. i can't believe how full on this is i think the bath for me whilst i was the most comfortable i I mean, comfortable I use yes. loosely, but yeah, like yeah. the most comfortable <laughs> yeah. I was in the whole labor probably. Um, and I felt, you know, we had music and dim light and I had everyone there and it was very supported, but it was, my mind was on fire. I think that's yeah. the only way the to describe it. <laughs> it. I was on fire inside. Yeah. It was so full on in my head at this point. And this is the classic thing of like, even having little snippets of watching the video of you in labor. Yeah. Because you're like, that didn't feel like what it looks yes. like, right? So the f parts of labor that you were filming, I watched them that night. Oh my gosh. When it was so fresh, I couldn't sleep. I was so hyped. And then I was watching it and I thought that just looks so, the video looked so different to how it felt in my mind. Yeah. I was blown away by the difference between the actual scenario yeah. and what it felt like was happening for me it was completely different yeah like yeah. totally different yeah we still had some funny times in the bath i remember once between a contraction a song came on on your playlist nadine and i was like 
oh, I love this song. And I didn't expect Deborah to react. I just thought maybe I was more talking to Nadine and your mum. And you're like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's classic. And we had to do quite a bit of work. I felt like it was really important, you, me, and Kez all being on the same page. And I felt like the baton kept getting handed around between us and the midwife too. Because the contractions were so big, he was moving down really fast. Quite so in so. my mind, you were three centimetres, but you were actually closer to seven on a sort of an emotional scale. Yeah. It was wild. Like they were very fast, very big contractions and probably a lot more painful. And I don't like to use that word, but they were a lot more painful than more if- pressure, More pressure. More pressure, more intensity, <laughs> that's right. Than if you had been classically at three centimeters. Yeah. So what was happening, what is gone, the cushion between his head and his, the cervix was gone. And so he was just gonna move down real fast and they were really big contractions. I didn't even realize that till we talked like. about that afterwards. Yeah, yeah. it felt it like he, I could yeah. feel him moving yeah. in the bath and it was so strong. Yeah. And it was just like, it was so strong. And I just remember thinking, I just can't believe this feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. It was, so what were you saying to us? Oh, remember? so I wanted, every drug possible at this point <laughs> i was i was i was so i just needed it to be over at this yeah. point i was like get me the epidural get me everything please just make it stop that's yeah. how i that's what i was feeling at this point yeah 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 i think i just felt i could not go on at this level yeah. and i felt like we had a long way to go and i just knew i was not going to be able to maintain yeah that for much longer that intensity that's yeah. right and yeah and it's hard watching someone you love go through like that's the bit that i found the hardest out of the whole thing was yeah. being well powerless to a certain extent but obviously i think as we talked about before yeah. having tools to help you through the process made me feel better because other that feeling of helplessness and watching your partner yeah. in distress i was better able to deal with and hopefully therefore help deborah yeah. because we had things we could do and and i think that made sort of yeah what, what it was going to look like yeah. and feel like and you you knew that just being there was an amazing support yeah. as well yeah. That reassurance that you weren't there to do nothing, no. just your calmness. Ned was so, he really helped me get into a great mental place. I think he was sort of bringing me back from that fiery, crazy zone. I can't do this, give me everything to make this stop. It just needs to stop. Yeah. And then Ned was sort of pulling me into this calmer place and sort of talking me through being at the beach or trying to take me away from where we were. And whilst that helps to a point, like it really did kind of bring me back from that crazy fire zone. That's right. So that passing the baton of us and as a team. So when you said, I want the epidural, I can't do this. That was hard for us, right? Totally. And we knew that I was going to ask for it. <laughs> Deborah did say, I will ask for it three times. Yeah. It's sort of like a religious scripture. You will, you will deny me three yeah. times. <laughs> Classic. Yeah. And, and you're totally entitled to have the epidural. And we said yeah, that there's nothing wrong no. with the epidural, but it did take some convincing. And I think from all of us to say, look, it's that cervix is probably going to go really, really fast. And it did, which was great. But it was because you also found your happy place, you relaxed, you let go. And so it, we, you did ask quite a few times yeah. for an epidural. Mainly and you had to answer back to her. Yeah. Yeah. You were the one that was really the rock. Because I had you, said to you that yeah. it's something I didn't really want. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, you and I, adamant you yeah, didn't want it. And I knew yeah. that I was going to ask for it because I knew that I would. But, yeah. but I think you also, each woman, and it probably differs yeah. woman yeah. to woman, has a certain amount of energy that they can expel to go through a pregnancy. And that, you know, once again, that's why I think your pre-labor where you were yeah. resting and eating and doing all those things gave you the reserves. But if you reach the point where you're running out of energy, well then... If it had been a longer process, I'm sure that's a path that we would have yeah. gone down because yeah. it was. I was really... Yeah. There was only so much, so okay. many more hours of that that I think I could yeah. have managed. It was just so intense. But I think that's where the team came in yeah. pl into play so yeah. well because I knew that I would probably ask for it in the throes of that time. Yeah. And you guys knew 
what was okay and what was not okay in terms of what I wanted and what was distress and what was labor yeah. and helped me helped make the decision yeah. which I was so happy with the result yeah. um, but that's where having the team like if I have, was there solo I would never have gotten that result no. no I think that we talked about that very soon after the birth as yeah. well like imagine turning up and walking into this hospital which you know has a very high medical assistance rate um you know and you hadn't prepared and your partner hadn't prepared and you hadn't done any independent education it would be yeah give me that epidural now that like straight totally. away i have no idea where we are but like there's no way we're going to get through this and it becomes yeah. a self-fulfilling prophecy it's like you know more people ask from therefore the more people get offered, people get offered yeah. them and you know it yeah. becomes the sort of you know the 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 yeah. path more traveled and there's nothing wrong with that either it was just yeah. more what i had wanted yeah. in our birth preferences when we had sort of spoken and there are risk factors it. you know yeah. like there are risk factors to having the epidural that you have to weigh up too. yeah and yeah. it's not an easy process to have an epidural yeah. no. at all at all um so they're gold in certain places but you know as it happened you were beautiful dilated beautifully so you're five centimeters when you got in the bath that was yeah. like, then what time was that? I think we got in the bath about 7.30, yeah. I would have thought. Yeah. And I think we were in there for just over an hour and you went from five to nine. And when we were at nine... Yeah, nine with a, just a little anterior lip. So yeah. almost 10, yeah. yeah. And that was like, oh, hallelujah. Um, hearing that nine and then with the lip. <laughs> and then Lucy said, we need to get you out of this bath. Yeah. That re the relief yeah. in that moment Wow. Yeah. And you were using a lot of sound, but Lucy was also really good at bringing you back to, she was, the she breath. played bad cop. Yeah. yeah. She totally. did pretty good. You like, getting, she you amazing. will breathe. She really like snapped me back. Yeah. Cause I was getting, you know, hyperventilating yeah. and struggling to come Shortness back to my breath. breath. Yeah. yeah. So the, and the gas. Oh, yes, that really helped. You know we what? We didn't even get a chance to have any, which was a no. bummer. <laughs> I was worried because I've never had gas before. So I was worried if I did have a swig yeah. that I could have a bad reaction. Next thing you know, you I'm in the, the corner. <laughs> so we, don't, <laughs> we, don't we, don't need to, we don't need to add another patient to this scenario. No. I think what the gas actually did for me was make me breathe. Yes. Because I was yes. shallow yes. breathing and I know that I was, but I couldn't stop like I couldn't get my breath I know. there I was really struggling and then having to breathe in that gas to hear the rattling or whatever it yeah. was made me take a deep enough breath that I was actually properly Staying breathing yeah. yeah 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 so exactly it worked, right. worked twofold yeah definitely that really yeah. really it, it really helped me to calm down because yeah. I was getting to a point of being yeah there were big pretty, surges coming in yeah. fast coming and in then you're sort of you're past the point of no return where yeah. even if you do I want to put you, say, I, I did, say, I pulled you aside did. Lucy, the midwife and said, okay, that was really intense. I'm not sure how much more of that she can take. <laughs> Talk me through options now. And she goes, oh, we're past that point. We're having this baby now. And I think that was at nine o'clock and you know, less than that. Well, we'll go through that, but less yeah. than an hour later, was he was born. Yeah. So, and we kept, we kept hearing half an hour for the, um, for, for the, for the doctor to get here. 25 minutes for the epidural to yeah, kick in was, so there was a or there's always a delay in yeah, yeah, from the yeah. moment you make that call to I think as soon as I knew I was at that nearly fully dilated point I I felt okay I can do this so you, you were impacted uh, yeah so the monologue changed totally you. changed yeah. it was from I cannot do this to yes I can do this we're nearly there and I yeah. felt totally different yeah um, and it's amazing how that dilation point can mentally mess with you because I yeah. think I'd gone from being not even in labor when I felt yeah. like I was 100% in yeah, labor yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then that made me scared about how long yeah. um, that intense stage would last. Yeah. yeah that's right and I think the team is what bolsters your confidence during totally. those tough times and then we follow your lead at other times, you know, and we make suggestions at other times. So there's all, it's a dance. Yeah. So, you know, they're reminding you to wee and then like giving you a drink and making sure the gas was there, making sure you're comfortable, giving you a hip squeeze. I think you were getting into hip squeeze and we were doing a bit of acupressure as well yes. in the bath, were the endorphin you? I one. I can't remember that. 
Which I is think so I weird. Was in a, like, yeah, yeah, you were going yeah. deeper and deeper, further and further into the zone. But water was a big one. Like, yeah, yeah deep, you guys definitely bath, you gave me so much water. That was yeah. amazing. And there's no way I could have reached and get, yeah. gotten water for myself. Like, it was at that point, like, I would just never. No, you It's such a small thing, but yeah. I would never have been able to do it in no, that time. No, that's right. Yeah. Exactly. The one thing we do need to work on is. Um, the team, not for you, not necessarily for you, is lip reading. Because trying to communicate <laughs> to sort of Nadine or to your mum or sort of like, how are we going to do this? Yeah, you know, like, and then she, what are you <laughs> so that's that's the one I thing. If I could, have heard you anyway. we'll go to a little uh, course or something in between yeah, babies. No, we <laughs> I thought you weren't yes. hearing us. I did hear. I, you I did hear. I us did in hear. Some of the yeah. Remember, I said she was having this big sleep, and that's she was good. really relaxing. And I was like, oh my god, the hormones are really building. The bliss is like I was watching, and I said to you next one's gonna be really big like tried to do it quietly i heard though and i was like it's coming <laughs> i was like oh my gosh and it Reach was for the gas. huge like it was a really big, one. A really big one that's it because i feel as though what I, I felt like the contractions was were just one i didn't feel like i was getting huge breaks no. um but then there was a couple where i was yeah. like oh i'm having a real break here and then next minute <laughs> It was wild. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, in the bath, then we got out of the bath. After we knew we were at that Lots nice of little video. sort of tea towel shaped towels to dry you down. The hospital yes. towels. <laughs> Chuck them on the floor, dry down Ned. Then one towel for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, quick, go get yeah. more towels. There's always a shortage of towels in the hospital. So yeah, that's what doulas are for, to go and get more towels. <laughs> um, what happened then? What did, what did we do then? So then um, st um, Dr. Morris, the obstetrician, had been called. Um, so he was on his way and we were trying to get comfortable for the next yeah. stage. And that was tough. I mm. sort of think I mentally was like, I've made it through this dilation process. I'm so happy that I'm, we're, you know, we're, clo we're close to the end. But then the pressure in my back, I, I was very tired at this point. Yeah. Um, and I think it was really hard to find a position yeah. that I could hold. It wasn't that it was comfortable or not comfortable. I sort of couldn't be in any... I think we tried four or five. Or we yes. tried everything. Yeah. yeah, we tried standing, leaning onto the bed. We tried on your knees, leaning onto the bed head. Mm -hmm. Pillows, yeah, yeah, but it was just the legs couldn't hold, no. and maybe we went back yeah. to that side hindsight, position again. In okay. hindsight, maybe I need to do like you know for a next birth, I need to do more leg strength. I don't know because I remember my legs were just jelly. Jelly. I couldn't even stand. I think that's just the pelvis opening for some right. women. They just don't have the strength at all yeah. to stand. Like, I don't I think couldn't. it's about like doing more squats exactly. before. Right. Okay. Lactic acid, it's all yeah. those things. It's just all the hormones yeah. and everything mm -hmm. kind of flooding through as well. Yeah. So it's kind of just the way it rolls sometimes. And I felt, I don't know how long we were trying to get into a position, but it felt like a while. I don't know how long it was. I think it was sort of half an hour or something, maybe. 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, maybe 20 minutes. But that's but a long time. It was, sort of it was, the, the, I, the pressure that. was, <laughs> yeah, the pressure was full on at that point. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. for sure but it was a different feeling to how it had been in the bath like I feel as though what I was experiencing was really different and I don't know if it's because mentally I'd clicked into a different place and I wasn't mm -hmm. sort of burning as much as I was during the um, and then strangely enough the, the position we that you found most easy and that you ultimately mm -hmm. gave birth in was actually on your back yeah when which I hadn't wanted to everything else that we'd sort of yeah. you know well we'd read and you're yeah. looking at the anatomy of the body says yeah. you know probably standing up or leaning over but for some reason maybe that's, that's just it, the only way i could you did a lot of, of pushing on your inside, left side yeah. again yeah. left lateral with the yeah. pillow in between yeah and, and then holding that knee yeah. so that worked because that brought you into a squat and that really helped him come down and just coming around that lip of the pubic bone yeah knees right into the armpits on the back seemed to work yeah. and Stephen was there for most of second stage as well yeah. and guiding and directing a lot of that as well yeah absolutely. but you worked really hard the amount of force required for pushing was something i was not really mm. i i hadn't really understood how much force yeah. i couldn't believe how much force went into it even in the in the moment i was like i can't believe how much strength 
is required for this part. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Of course it yeah. is. But I just remember thinking it was just so full on. Yeah. Um, and I was trying to breathe, but actually I needed to hold my breath. And it sort of was just a very different, yeah. um, very different way of being to, you know, the contractions mm. that I was having before. Yeah, so the contractions in the bath, describe those, because you said you felt them pushing him down. Yeah, in the bath, I honestly felt like my contractions were pushing the baby out. Yeah, you like, weren't really having to push, do the force. No, I felt, I, I was like, is this the baby coming out? That's what it felt like to me. Yeah. Um, I was like, I, I need to push almost that, that yeah. urge. Whereas at the pushing phase, I didn't really have that as much. I had to be guided by Dr. Morris on, on the pushing. It wasn't the, uh, I didn't have that urge at that point. It was actually much earlier. But I do wonder if you'd stayed in the bath longer. Yeah. I wonder if maybe you wouldn't have been directed so much yeah, with the pushing. Maybe. Maybe felt... if that was your super happy place and just sometimes that changing and more people and just it just changes it maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. she maybe could I have really... stayed in that transient sort of thing. Because yeah, it is a state. more, well, it's a less, you know, when you're on on your back with everyone around yeah. you and the obstetrician down you know it's it that's obviously a very different environment to what you were in in the yeah. bath yeah and so maybe you know and he does catch babies in the bath yeah um in water but not at the mater yeah that, so yeah, that's RPA, have done, yeah, yeah yeah for sure anyway uh, yeah in the bath i honestly could feel him being pushed out by yeah. the contractions without me doing a push it was a, it, it? and I could really feel that where it, it was very different to when we were actually yeah. when I was actually pushing to yeah. um, give birth to him at the end but it worked right it worked. ultimately it worked so it's about what 45 minutes do you think pushing was it an I hour think so. I think I think it was nearly almost an hour, hour. yeah 945 he was born yep yeah. yep 945 little Pisces Crazy Cute. Aquarius. Oh, he's little Aquarius. Yeah. Sorry, don't know my astrology very well. Crazy. Yeah. And, and do you remember in that pushing, like towards the end? How was it for you watching her push? Well, once he, by then you're sort of getting so close. It's like light at the end of the. I think we even said yeah. that a few times. Yeah. Light at the end of the tunnel. And I wasn't sure whether I'd just be up there holding, you know, looking at yes. her in the eyes, saying you're doing great, and yeah. sort of leaving yeah. the rest, and you know, holding. But in the end, it just, I don't know, just one of my friends said to me, I said, oh, where did you? He goes, you'll stand where you stand. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, what does that mean? He goes, just trust me, you'll stand where you stand. And in the end, it ended up being sort of, you know, halfway along, sort of helping the OB when, you know, he sort of said, give me a hand, hold this leg or do this or, yeah. you know, and or holding Deborah's hand or... And we just sort of moved around a bit, didn't we? But you were so encouraging, actually, the whole time. I feel like after every contraction, I, f I think you were like, you're doing such a great job. Like, you were yeah. so, there was so much, like, positivity coming from you that really That's helped to drive me. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Like, I felt, I was like, yes, okay, we've done one more. Like, yeah. your positivity throughout the mm. whole birth, definitely, um, I, I was definitely absorbing that the whole time. It was amazing. It really made a difference yeah. for me, for sure. Totally. And mum as well, like, and you, the yeah. whole team, like, it was great. And then when you sort of, you know, the, um, Dr. Morris said, you know, here's your baby's head, and you, know, yeah, you just see was, the top of it. Yeah. And then, you know, saying, and then said something like, he's got lots of dark hair. I know, you're like, I'm <laughs> oh my God. And I think they're just those little things yeah. that, yeah. you know, yeah, whether it's adrenaline or yeah. more oxytocin or yeah, whatever. The, yeah. Yeah. just helps you on that the pushing step. yeah i i actually thought it was less painful yeah the final stage with pushing than the actual labor yeah. and i i am amazed by that yeah. because to me that would 100 percent be yeah my expectation was that that would be yeah. the most painful part but it really wasn't for me which was weird yeah i wasn't expecting it's just that. different for everyone yeah. i think by the time you got there your endorphins had had finally Built. peaked out yeah. like and they were there and it was just such a quick journey yeah. to get there that it was like we're catching up trying to catch up with the next big contraction to go so quickly from like one to two to ten in what i think it was probably six hours or something yeah. totally something like that total which so. is so much faster than i yeah we thought it was going to be and most people's are four to ten in sort of three hours or less yeah exactly. so by the time we'd gone back to the hospital the second yeah. time 
Exactly. So yeah, yeah, you weren't you weren't in a huge amount of discomfort. You were just working really, really yeah. hard with the energy yeah. of them. And you put your fingers down to feel his head, didn't you? Yeah, at one totally. point. Totally. I was. Was like, that weird? It was weird, but it kind of helped me. I was like, yeah. okay, we're so close. Because mm. I did sort of feel like nothing's happening. Like with all the big pushes, I was like well, like I'm doing all of this and I feel like we're not really getting anywhere. Yeah. It was at that point. And then I think when I could feel his head, I was like, oh, we are so close. He's right there. And you could see when you did a really good push, it was sort of three steps, well, three yeah. steps forward and then only two back. Yeah. But when you sort of, you know, if you lost your breath or you let the, yeah, yeah. and didn't, couldn't recapture, it was sort of two steps forward, yeah. two steps back. You yeah. sort of, so... And I think that Dr. Morris was excellent with sort of, you know, yeah, was really managing when me. to push, when not to. Yeah. And one of the, my favourites bit is he would always say a little more, a little more when it came to the pushing. Yeah. And obviously through that experience, there'd been an element of um, subliminal yeah. messaging because <laughs> I then found sort of two days later, Deborah was feeding Bo and I, I leaned over and she's like, a little more, a little more, a little more. <laughs> like, I'm like, mad that I was absorbing. Yeah, absorbing. I'm like, you do realise where you got that from. And she goes, what? And I said, from Dr. Morris. And she goes, oh. Yeah, I didn't even know it. So, so it was funny. quite funny. So cute. Yeah. No, it was amazing. And then actually when he, fi when he came out, like I was pushing and then his head had come out yeah. and then we sort of just breathed and stopped pushing and then yeah. the rest of the body came out and it was just the most amazing moment ever. And he was just finally there. It was just so cool, wasn't it? Yeah. And you lent... Well, he's, yeah, I picked him yeah. up. That's right, yeah. he did. He had the cord around his neck, didn't he? Yeah. Very little swift, twist. Very swift little move off like that yep. from the from Dr. Morris. Yeah. And then I think he just sort of held Bo just there and then said, lean down. Yeah, do you want to pick him up? And, and it was just amazing. Oh. It was just incredible. And I think it's like all that and then instantly it's all over. Like yeah. all of the crazy inner monologues gone. The pain's gone. It's just done. Like it's yeah. the it's wildest just, thing. Yeah. And then yeah, it's just pure blissful happiness. Yeah. And it's just like over. Yeah. It's uh, so cool, right? It's so amazing. <laughs> and that's something when I'd been watching the birth videos yeah. and the she birth course, um, and then um, I'd seen some on Instagram and things like that, and I'd always just been amazed by watching, you know, the intensity mm -hmm. followed by the women being absolutely fine like yeah. as soon as the baby is out and that's actually what happened and it was just yeah mm -hmm. amazing so cool yeah it was so good yeah and then we had little <laughs> <laughs> oh the little man and he was a good size he was a good size yeah. he was smaller than what Small, we were told we he was going to be yeah. yeah he was also a little bit early we were sort of thinking really about this the other day how do you have probably would have been three if he'd gone full term, he probably would have been about three and a half kilos and he was yeah. just under 3.2, so. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He was a little man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And he was tired too. He was sleeping. Yeah. It took him a little bit of time to have his first sort of yep. as well. Yeah, that's that was, right. We Which were, I didn't we realise. We were blissfully <laughs> unaware of that. Yeah. yeah. So he was sleepy, but he did lots of the lovely crawling, little yeah. feet, the little commando, the head bob, the massage, the licking, all these beautiful movements. And then we just needed that uh, LC, the lactation consultant. She came in and she was really great because he's a yeah. finger sucker, yeah. which is different to a thumb sucker. They're quite no, different. He's, uh, he'll do all three. Yeah. Yeah. He'll just get all the fingers yeah. in there. Yeah. And so your nipple wasn't a finger. So he was sort of on the nipple falling off a little mm. bit. Remember? Yeah. She mentioned something about an Italian wife. She was going to do a massage to right, desensitize yeah. his mouth, yeah. mm -hmm. but in the end, she didn't need to. It was just like helping him latch on to get yeah. that first latch to note it feel. It's quite a different suck to sucking on yeah. one's yeah. fingers. And then once he had it to get, you got help each time, I think, for the next couple of days, which I think was really, really yeah. good to have oh, that, that access to the midwives in there to no. be yeah. there with the each feed, making sure he was on yeah. properly. And that was a, a huge finger. help. Like I think for me, yeah, the lat just getting the latch right was the yeah. um, was what I was sort of 
it was different every time and I wasn't sure if I was getting it right but the midwives at the hospital having them there like every time was just so helpful. Yeah. And even when we thought we had the hang of it we thought oh, why not they're there let's just get them to come yeah, in and so every person would have a little tip that you know yeah. worked but, and you know just building up once again yeah, same yeah, as what we just skills, yeah. yeah building up that knowledge base oh let's try whether it be the hamburger technique yeah. or the, this, or <laughs> the football the hold or the, you yeah, know, exactly. all these different yeah. ones and every midwife had her own little trick. Yeah. Or. And actually having you there after the baby was born was amazing because you really helped us yeah. to know what to do. I, yeah. I, I was sort of reflecting on if you hadn't been there after the birth, like everyone really leaves the room yeah. and then it's sort of, I think I would have been a bit unsure about mm. what to do with him and feeding and um, you know, is he okay? Like yeah. seeing this, you know, the baby's just gone through that full birth. It's so intense. They've just come into the world. Yeah. They are overwhelmed for sure. And I think being guided by you with the feeding and making sure that we had some water yeah. and some food. Yeah, that's right. Um, looking after us. us. You made us the Vegemite on toast. Vegemite yeah. <laughs> Gotta have veggie toast. Yeah. Yeah, like you've got to eat before you get up and have your shower and yes. stuff like that because so many women will faint or just not be great and they need to have their energy replenished yeah. before you start giving yes. as well, which and is now the cycle. Exactly. I would never, we would never have known to do that and it would, and you really helped us with him, yeah. um, you know, trying to do the first feed and everything like that. So and that was really precious time and all the luggage. <laughs> I did overpack the, the, somewhat for the hospital. The martyr <laughs> Maybe that's why and it like... took <laughs> Ned so long to back the car. <laughs> It's so classic. Little tip is to make sure you go and uh, steal a laundry cart yeah. from, the back, from the back of house and use Everyone that to was move. horrified. We came prepared, okay? You had lots of stuff. <laughs> it was good. It was great. It was so good. No, but I think it was probably, he was born just before 10. I think we were probably all, the three of us, yeah. your mum went home probably about midnight or yeah, one o'clock. Yeah. But I think Nadine was with us still sort of two or three yeah. in the morning. The stoolers, so most stoolers would do two 90 minute sessions before you give birth. Yeah. And they would stay for the feed and then that would, yeah. 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 So yeah, no, I stay longer. Yeah. We do. No, that was really nice because that just gave you, gave important. us a bit of time and also relive what we just, yeah. you know, yeah, been through. Yeah, there was a lot of. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. you are. And that's the important thing. I think I mentioned to you, most people will go over their birth story numbers of times with different people mm -hmm. and it will crop up in all sorts of places. And you'll express it in different ways according yeah. to who you're talking to but it is a really really important part of your life yeah. it's as big as your wedding day if not bigger yeah we, we did actually ask ourselves that it question is. didn't we it's, it's <laughs> like the, the, yeah totally i know it's like oh is it, is it yeah i wasn't like, sure if that was is. imprinting yeah i was like oops is that the wrong answer Am I no meant to say bigger or? definitely bigger <laughs> yeah. it is it's a bigger moment yeah. right and um so it's a really important story to keep telling and it's a big gift to yeah. share it with other people so that people know it's possible to create a beautiful birth to have a positive experience that you can't have too many people in the room if that's who you feel safe and comfy with. You can't overdo that. Yeah. Um, and if we had another one, we would have taken it. It would have been. <laughs> it would have been. Yeah. Everyone was so busy. And I think that does have, like in the lead, I was definitely aware that a lot of people, especially if they've maybe had a bad experience yeah. or something, people do, you know, you could be at dinners and people will just go, oh, you're pregnant, let me tell you what happened to me. And maybe that's yeah. a part of them dealing with the experience that they had or whatever, but in the end, you're sort of like, oh, I just don't. And that's considering, you know, we had a plan and we were lucky enough that it yeah. went to plan. We were lucky enough that you moved quick enough to get through it without sort of, you know, we didn't have to go down a, a path we didn't, we, well, we were prepared for, but we didn't want to go down. I think it's important, and, you know, yeah. that's why we wanted to be here today to tell that story as yeah. well, because not all the time do, do they, get out no they don't exactly well. right yeah. the culture is leaning into the negativity and media of course leans into that because that's what sells yeah. faster and but that's also getting encoded into yeah. our brains into our psyches all the time so we need positive yeah. stories to help people to understand that it's possible believe in it yeah. but to know that you can craft a team you can get educated yeah. and you don't have to have a perfect birth you can still have an epidural or a cesarean and make it beautiful Absolutely. it's really critical it's a it's a birthday it's a celebration yeah. and you want to come out of this feeling good